friends, it's Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design. I'm so glad you could join me here today. Today is all about embellishments. You know I love them. An embellishment takes a project from just pretty good to really fantastic. And to um, enhance my project today, I've used a bunch of metal embellishments from Butterbee Scraps. Luann Hunt is the owner of the shop and she asked me to do a guest designer post for you. And hey, embellishments were involved. I wasn't gonna say no. So she sent me a lovely assortment of these embellishments from the shop. There are these beautiful copper filigree leaves, a lovely little vintage clock, these fantastic antique brass binder clips, filigree, vil <laughs> sometimes it's hard to talk, y'all, filigree butterflies, these wonderful bumblebees, which have a patina on them, and then these darling little keys that have a crown at the top. And I thought there was no better paper collection to highlight these than Bloom from Graphic 45, and no better way to show off the papers and the embellishments than with an Eileen Hall Traveler's Journal die. So I created this four and a quarter by eight and three quarters um, journal with a one and a quarter inch spine and then proceeded to use the embellishments. We'll take a quick look at the spine. This is bound with waxed linen thread and I really like to use this as opposed to elastic thread. I feel like it stands up better. One other thing that I do and this is just a little tip if you make these journals they are really fun to make. I wrap a double strand top to bottom and then I tie a knot. The knots are all hidden back behind this clock. And the reason I do that is I find that it holds up better than um, elastic, but also it gives me a taller area to work with um, so I can fit more into my journal. This is canvas ticking that I stitched and used to create a little cloth binding to add to the shabby chic factor. And then you can see these beautiful charms from Butterbee. And yes, I altered them. I used paints, I used inks, and I used this um, Ranger Perfect Pearls Mist Green Patina. I've had this in my stash forever. I'm not sure if they sell it anymore, but you can make it yourself just take perfect pearls powder put it in water shake it up in a mister bottle and spray it on so that is the cover and i created this dimensional butterfly by bending the wings and joining two of these together and you'll see all of that in the tutorial that is to follow the cover is actually really simple it's a single layer of the bloom paper with a fussy cut centerpiece and then just a little border of stamps. And it looks so much more difficult than it really is, but the embellishments add that sense. Really reasonable ribbon. This is Silky Crush Champagne ribbon, inch and a half wide. And then this is a lovely plaid that they've just started carrying in the shop and some little birdie flowers. So let's take a peek inside and see how I've used these embellishments on the inside of this beautiful journal. There are three signatures in the journal, and a signature just means a section or an insert, like chapters in a book. And um, usually I make my own signatures using the die, but I was shopping a Tuesday morning and found these um, pre-made signatures from Mementa, and they were in a clearance cart for a dollar a piece. How could I say no? And they happen to fit perfectly inside. Now you'll notice that this side is plain. Normally I do pockets and decorations, but this mat board that I used to create the base has a linen finish on it and it looks like fabric. And I didn't want to cover that up. So I just left this plain, inked around it with decades ink and old moss. And um, you can use the little clip to add photos or mementos or whatever, and you could certainly dress this up. I just happen to like the elegance of it with this texture and soft weave. One thing I did do inside each signature, you can see here's one of those sweet little bumblebees added to this ribbon closure, and here's a filigree leaf, 
and here is a binder clip. So the closure, and I go over this in the tutorial, is made by threading ribbon through a chipboard medallion. And then inside, I've created a pocket in the front and a pocket in the back. And then these are just all blank pages, truly to be used as a journal. The second one, I've dressed up to be more like a junk journal. Um, and again, here's one of those beautiful filigree butterflies. Here's a little key. Here's a little clip. And this one I altered by tying one of the little keys onto the handle. I just think that looks so cute. And I use this here because this middle signature got a little bulky because of all the things that I glued inside. So we'll take a look at that. This has another pocket. And I used um, also secret garden papers to help um, decorate this. So you've got like a journal page and then a decorated page. And these are simple, it's designed so that you can add things to them as you find them, um, rather than having it completely finished. I thought it would be fun to leave it with room to personalize. So this just goes through like this the whole way, little pockets, beautiful little images, and you can see the Secret Garden works really well with the Bloom collection. I really like the way that looks. So that's the second signature, again, with a side pocket on the back, and then I just hold it together. I love these little clips. I just think they're phenomenal. Um, they, they're so vintage looking. They don't have the hard metal finish that you find on a lot of them, and I'm a real fan of these. So again, here's another little tied section, layered chipboard, filigree leaves, bumblebee, and the beautiful bloom papers. And then this one has a slash pocket front and back, and then it's just blank inside. This is calendar pages, and so this is like a planner. So this is a really practical little journal. Um, took me about a day to finish, start to finish. Um, actually took me as long to edit the photos as it did to make the journal. But I have a little step out tutorial, just pictures and text that follows this along with a gallery of photos. And here's the really happy news. For the next 30 days, if you use the code Kathy. 10 at Butterbee Scraps, you'll get a lovely little discount on your order. So I encourage you to check them out. They have truly unique and beautiful metal charms, doilies, all that sort of thing. I think you'll have a good time shopping if you're like me. The embellishments, it's embellishments really make a project special. So don't go away. The tutorial's to follow. When you finished watching, I'd love if you subscribed to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you, Luann, for asking me to be your guest designer. I really enjoyed creating this, and now I'm going to go get my craft on. Bye!